Hey guys, I'm Chip, and today we're going to see what happens to a Kenmore dryer when it comes to the end of its serviceable life. Stay tuned, keep watching to the end, and I'll see you over there. These two were waiting for me this morning. This one won't start. Probably the thermal fuse. Now, had I only plugged this thing in and and checked it, I would have discovered that it was a bad motor instead of taking all the time to check a thermal fuse. When I just assumed it was a thermal fuse. Now, always plug the machine in and try it before you uh, start working on it. You save yourself a lot of time. Put it to read ohms. Test it. Pull one of these off. Oh, I can tell that's messed up already. Coming right out of there. Well, it's not messed up. Bad motor. Something hung up. Mm, I think it's a bad motor. It it has it off and on. Noisier. When did you when did you discover it? Oh, well. Yeah. Well, it's probably on its last probably on its last legs. There, it's that motor making noise. <laughs> you can't oil it though.
here I'm getting a dryer motor test cord and I'll put a link up here at the top uh, for a video to make these things if you want if you want one for your own You think? Yeah, motor shot. It's messed up, so it's old. It's not gonna, not gonna fix this one.
So I went ahead and took this machine out and put it with the others that I was going to scrap out because I was pretty sure the customer wasn't going to uh, approve changing the motor on such an old machine. Anyway, that after I did call him, that's what he decided to do, scrap it out and replace it. And I think that was the best uh, choice for this particular machine anyway. It was completely worn out. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.